Nadia, Edinburgh police will neither confirm nor deny whether these two incidents are related. But as you can see, that raid that took place on the 400 block of East Peter Street is less than two and a half miles away from the fatal shooting of Julissa Runhell. This apartment complex on the 2400 block of Kimberly Lane is now a crime scene. It's really quiet. There's always kids playing outside. Nothing really happens. Last night, Julissa Rangel was found shot to death inside her home. The gunman nowhere to be found. Less than 24 hours after the senseless crime, Action 4 News witnessed police raiding this home as part of a criminal investigation. Edinburgh police are not telling Action 4 if the raid is linked to the murder. For now, the motive for Ronhell's death is unknown. Two bullets went through Ronhell's front door, but it's unclear how many times she was hit. Neighbors are still in disbelief. And so when we heard about the shots, then it was really shocking that a 21 hurt, um, had died. Michael Chavero says he never experienced anything like this so close to home. It worries him. I'm just going to watch out for my little brother now. Police say Jolissa lived at the apartment with her two-year-old son and her sister. They were not home at the time of the shooting. And investigators tell us the door was left slightly open when they had arrived on scene. And for now, they are following up on different leads and say they are focused on catching the suspect or suspects behind this killing. In the studio, I'm Ashley Custer, Action 4 News.